So um, obviously you need to log in to Onship. Uh, so to do that, you type in this uh, browser address, which has been sent to you. You will arrive at this page. Obviously you put in your name, your last name, your school, email please, the same email you're logging into the system in the school on, okay? The underscore GWA1, so we know what your login is. Uh, you will obviously identify yourself as a student, grade school, you're not a university yet, grade school, check the little box and you create the edu account, all right? You will then have an option to enter passwords and so on. Please, this is really important, give yourself a simple password, which you will always remember, all right? I know it seems obvious, but people forget the passwords. Yeah, please give yourself a password that everyone can, you will be able to remember. Write it down somewhere, keep it at home so you don't forget. You don't want problems with students not being able to log in, all right? Uh, so I'll just go ahead and sign in here. I've already got the login, obviously. <clears throat> I'm already in. So the first thing you're going to have to do uh, before you use anything here in the software is you should see your name in the top right hand corner. Yeah. You click on that little drop down arrow and you will get my account. All right. So here you've got all sorts of things you can look at, but look at preferences. All right. And here you can actually display the language. You can change the language for the browser if you want to. Uh, but obviously, if I'm looking at your screen, it'll be useful to keep it in English. Uh, and here is where you want to set the units. By default, it's an American piece of software, so by default, it will go to inches. We work in millimeters, all right? So put it into millimeters. Make sure it's not in inches, make sure it's in millimeters. All right? You can also change mass units to grams or kilograms. Uh, so keep it in the metric system. Make sure you saved it. All right, so save the changes. Uh, another thing you could do is go down here, the view settings. You can make the software work in a way that it's similar to other software you've used, if you have. All right? uh, so I keep it on AutoCAD. I wouldn't keep it not on ship. I would move it maybe to AutoCAD or SolidWorks, but AutoCAD, especially if you're grade 10 and you're have used Fusion 360 uh, before, keep it on AutoCAD. All right, that means the tools will work in a similar way. Okay. So you can save that if you've changed it, and that's it. There's no need to change anything else down here. The main important thing is changing the units to millimeters. Please don't forget to do this. This should be the very first thing you do when you log into your system. Go into your account and check the units to millimeters, all right? If you leave them in inches, you'll have problems later on. All right, so make sure it's in millimeters. And that's it for now.